time once again to have a look at the month ahead for August, the month of Leo astrologically. Well, South Africa has entered a bit of a dark winter phase and it doesn't look like there's much sign of that ending. Ever since the recent eclipses, we've essentially entered a long phase of, let's call it shadow. One of the reasons why there's very often stuff going on behind the scenes that we are unaware of. But from the astrologer's point of view, the shadows are destructive. They cause things both to be concealed and to come to the surface and cause a little bit of chaos. But in the process, there is a kind of a cleanse. So if we can hang in there and survive a period of shadow, we usually uh, come out well in the end. How long is the period of shadow? Well, in this particular case, it's now going to last until nearly the end of next year, nearly the end of 2023. So it is a difficult patch that we've entered into. Not something new for us, not the first time. So there's a good chance we are going to survive. But what has repeatedly been stated in the charts is that um, the, the power and activity and effectiveness has to move more to the people and more to civil organizations than, from gov than, than expressed by government. And why? It's because the shadow area, not surprisingly, is in the government's area of the chart. That boils down to we will see the ANC continue to get into further trouble, further distance from its electorate, f falling further in various elections as they may come up and so on. But that party continues to slowly, slowly crumble. And from the astrological point of view, one of the reasons is with the shadow on them, they don't look at what the problems are. They don't really see even what the problems are. And so they will continue to suffer. But unfortunately, the country suffers along with that. The chart shows the president as particularly kind of treading water and in limbo now as he's um, escaping some of the effects of the strong challenges against him, but still faces them also until the, beyond the end of this year. So we all stay in that state of limbo. Meanwhile, the financial area of the chart looks extremely challenged. We've recently seen a um, repo rate increase, and we're bound to see that again before the end of the year, because there's tremendous pressure now in the financial area of the chart, and that's going to affect the currency as well. The exchange rate will continue to be in trouble for many months to come. Everything is a bit of a squeeze as we're all beginning to experience. When we look at the chart, we can see kind of background economy, even the, the treasury itself, the resources of the country are actually managing to, to stay strong or stay stable, but only to a certain extent. Obviously, realistically, with such financial pressure in the chart, it gradually does affect everything. Where is there any sign of hope or redemption? Well, there is. On the one hand, I did mention civil society and the grassroots level of things. And in terms of the idealism of this country, there remains a spark that will get reignited under this kind of pressure. Uh, commentators frequently talk about how South Africans have had enough and they will eventually snap and all of those things may be true but from the astrological point of view the snap is that we will finally refocus around the ideals that birthed this country in the first place. It's not necessarily a great big rainbow happy ending it's a slow process that, as we've seen, is going to take at least 18 months to get us even out of the darkness and start rebuilding um, some of those ideals that people worked and suffered so hard for in this country and that have gradually been diminished by the, the, the government and the powers that be. So there remains hope because that idealism is still alive and can still express itself. And of course, our traditional area of redemption is sport. And we are going to continue to see South Africa doing very well in that arena. We've seen it recently with the, the box. We've seen it recently with Banyana Banyana. And we are going to continue to see them and others bring some sense of glory and the healthy kind of South African nationalism to the fore, the kind that is about our sport, 
and our idealism and our optimism towards the future in some way. So there does remain a lot of um, energy and, and strength coming into the chart from that. We often speak about our ability to come up with creative solutions to problems and that's also emphasized and that's something that we need to remember that as much as realistically we find ourselves in a bit of a hole and in quite a dark place and it's hard to see how we could possibly get out, we must remember that part of our national character is to pull rabbits out of hats, to come up with ways of solving problems that were never conceived of before. But it does take this kind of pressure that we're getting into. So we are getting into this the situation that, as hard as it is, does eventually produce the kind of results that uh, we would hope for. We do see, even in this month ahead, a lot of that optimism and positive results coming out of our actions this month. There will be some things that do keep us going and some sense of spirit that does keep us going. But there's going to be a lot of um, getting rid of some of the difficulties that we carry. While the currency situation, financial situation is not going the way, we can see um, the, the pressure on the public protector and her trial in Parliament continues to be very challenging to her and it doesn't look good for her astrologically speaking but other areas to do with the law look challenging and unfortunately that could include the extradition of the Guptas. While the uh, NPA does look very active in the month ahead and we're certainly going to see another rush of prosecutions and uh, other surfacing of some of the, the matters raised by the Zondo Commission, that's going to be the very good side of the story. But with the bigger fish, that still remains a very challenging situation and doesn't look that promising. So hopefully the NPA can hold it together. It's looking like an equal mixture of good and bad. They, there's going to be a lot of work done by them, but not a lot of progress done by them. So we can still keep our fingers crossed in that way. But as much as that sounds extra challenging too, once again we need to remember in the longer run, in the bigger picture at this time, gradually power is moving back to where it's most effective in this country, the people and the NGOs. And with enough time, eventually that's going to help us solve the problems that are political, that are financial, that are legal, and even that are electrical. Doesn't look especially good for for ESCOM and electricity right now, but in the long run, that's one of the problems that we're going to come up with creative solutions. So start thinking creatively, South Africans. In the meanwhile, let's see what's in it for you. Aries, this month it looks like you're going to have to employ some of your famous courage or maybe even call it recklessness but that is going to work for you. It looks like a little goes a long way. So a small amount of effort, a small amount of even rushing in where angels fear to tread, as you're often accused of doing, it's all going to work for you and is going to be necessary. But what you're going to have to be careful of is not to get too rash in the, pro in the process. It does look a little financially tr uh, challenging for you at the moment, and it looks like there could be some new expenses, unforeseen expenses, those kind of things arising at this time. So you do need to be a little careful. Although it is a kind of a lucky time for you, where a little goes a long way and produces much bigger results than you can expect, it works both ways at the moment. It's an unstable, changeable period, both in terms of money and as well as any other results you might be expecting. So take the point of view of this is a time to make the moves, see some of the results that are happening, don't run with anything quite yet. You're going to have to prune things down and clear your field. It's going to take a couple of months for everything to stabilize, but over the month of Leo, the month of August, you've got a great start. Everything is going to be placed on your table, and with a certain amount of awareness and caution, you'll be able to pick the right things that help you go ahead in the months ahead. Taurus, things are also looking a little unsettled for you in the month ahead, and dare I even say, a little bit chaotic. So you need to make things as simple as possible. It's likely that there's a little bit too much on your plate, too much demanding your attention. So start off by establishing your priorities. Many things are pulling at you from many directions. Many of them are going to cause unsettlement. Get your priorities in order. And as usual for a Taurus, 
Your priority is to establish some kind of security. Ideally, that's financial security. So address those kind of matters that are um, interfering with your sense of security before you address any others. Keep it simple. This is not a good time for spending. It's not a good time for um, taking any kind of chances or risks. However, it is a good time for some unexpected surprises to help you along the way. So although you've got to kind of keep your nose down and keep it working on the, the basic important things, there's still going to be benefits and unexpected benefits from people around you, from other resources that you haven't taken into account that are going to help you come up with, in the end, some new ideas and new strategies must arise out of this. So it's not just keep your head down. In the meanwhile, think about strategies. Think about how am I going to develop new ways so that there's new things and new money coming in in the months ahead. Gemini, this looks like a great month for having fun, but that doesn't mean you can just get out there with wild abandon because like everyone else, you're going to be suffering some financial pressures and it does look like a little, rec uh, a little recklessness, recklessness is entering into your horoscope for the month ahead and only you can be the one to do anything about this. So you need to watch the spending, but at the same time, find ways to have fun and get out there and just get some of that energy off to doing things that you love. That is a great focus for this month. And it's not only confined to the playful things and the expensive things, but also in terms of your goals and your work. This is the time to be sitting down, looking at the various things on your table, looking at the various goals right now. And you've just had a birthday, so you can go forward and say, how do I create goals that are about things I love and things that are close to my heart? Those also usually include things that you're naturally good at, naturally talented at, and things that you've been doing for most of your life. What would keep you, the child, happy? How could you get that into your goals and your work right now? That's what this chart is all about this month. Fun with sport, fun with children, all the ways that you can bring a little bit of extra pleasure into your life is going to open the way to those more meaningful goals. Cancerians, as you know, when in doubt, stay at home, and this is the perfect time to do that. It's winter after all, and it's time to really gather in your forces, gather in your strength, and rebuild some of your foundation. You'll no doubt be delighted to know it's a great month for family and everything else that comes along with home, and that's going to be really all you need to satisfy your aims, your goals, your ambitions at this particular time. However, you could also take advantage of it. So this is a great time for things like redecorating, making that home the comfortable space that you would want it to be, and also for paying attention to those domestic relationships, your loved ones, um, your partner, your spouse, or your kids, whoever it may be, just to build those relationships as much as possible. Cancer, your sign is very strong at the moment, and that can help with financial matters. This is a good time to introduce new stability. Just be careful not to kind of lose your head in the process and, and make some spontaneous and irrational choices to do with money. That's not going to be a good idea. This is a good time to really be sensible, get knuckled down to building the budget or doing whatever might be required because positive steps taken towards financial matters this month can have resonating effects for the rest of the year. Just don't go wild. Hang in there for a little bit longer. You're going to make it a much stronger financial time. Leos, you need to go and find yourself some Geminis to play with because just like them, this is a month where you can get more into the fun and pleasurable side of your personality and there's no shortage of that when it comes to Leos. So this, is really mean, this really means it's a time to focus on the things that you're best at. Leos tend to be quite multi-talented and Perhaps you need to focus on those that bring the best results and the most sense of satisfaction. But it's important that you're doing something that you love, especially in your work environment. How to make things more successful right now is to concentrate on what is it that you love and is that what you're doing with most of your day. Not everyone can do that, and then, of course, it's a great time to go out and have some fun and make sure that you're doing the fun things parallel, be that a hobby, be that just some letting off steam on the weekend, or whatever the case may be. 
there are some more critical things that you really need to examine. There are things that you need to be changing that you might have been carrying for as baggage for quite a while, and it doesn't look like you're really changing them, and things could be reaching quite a crunch. So this is the time to just let go of stuff, get rid of the old baggage, literally drop it, move ahead, and liberating yourself in that kind of way is going to help you remember what, is it, what it is that you love. That's going to help you go forward. Virgos, although it looks like there's some hard work ahead of you in the month ahead, and that's definitely not something that's ever bothered you, it really looks like you're going to get a lot done. There's a kind of a clearing going on in your horoscope over the month of August, and this is going to be the opportunity to get rid of old baggage, to finish some unfinished business, to do all of those things that have been hanging over your head or lingering for way too long. It does mean that you're going to have to get some priorities in order. As usual, it looks like there could be a bit too much on your plate. And the easy way to do that is to really ask yourself, what of this stuff is mine? Because it looks like you're carrying lots of stuff that belongs to other people. Certainly you can't ditch all of that because it does seem that there are people who are relying on you at the moment. So how to identify what's important about that is to ask yourself, where is my leadership required? You're not usually a person who will step into a leadership role, but this is the time when that's going to be required of you. And it's easy to identify because you're already in that role. So have a look at what some, some of what you've been doing and realizing it's not just been about helping those people, it's actually been about guiding those people. That stuff is very important in your life right now. That's going to help you identify and let go of those things that aren't really that helpful in your life. Libra, it certainly looks like you don't need any help getting your priorities in order, and you're going to see the benefits this month, both of your relationships, which is of course important to you, and also focusing on your own stuff. Perhaps what you do need to realize is it's time to get a little bit more selfish. You put a lot of energy into your relationships, and over this month you're going to see a lot of benefit from that. But that doesn't mean it needs everything. It doesn't mean that you can't afford to be a little bit more self-centered at this time. And by self-centered, I really just mean making sure some of what you care about the most is taking some of your space and energy at this time. And one of those things seems to be your home and your domestic space, and this is a great time to, con to create some of that comfort and beauty that you love and that benefits both you and your loved ones in your space. But of course, this is also the time that the loved ones benefit from the same energy. The warning, if you like, in your chart this moment is about overdoing things. And while that sounds like quite a harmless warning, there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. And you just need to monitor yourself to make sure you're not losing yourself into the fantasy of everything's beautiful and wonderful, especially when it comes to all relationships, not just your significant other, but children or other domestic relationships and other people around you. Keep a level head but bring the best in, be realistic, but also be romantic, that's going to make it work. Scorpio, it looks like things are not going exactly according to plan, so maybe the thing right now is to let go of some of that plan. There's enough to deal with as it is without having to worry about whether things are going to according to what you think they should be going to. Pay attention then to those things which demand it all on their own, and of course one of those is unfortunately financial matters. You're in good company, it is a challenge for most people at this time, but it does look like there's some unexpected financial challenges for you, plus there could just be unexpected extra expense from something that you thought was already taken care of or taken into account. So be smart around that, be very conservative around money at this particular time, and make sure that you don't get yourself into debt or any situation that requires you to depend on someone else's money at this time. This is an important time to make sure that the lines of communication are open. You tend to withdraw and maybe even get a bit grumpy at times when you challenge like this, and that's just going to make things worse. And it's also not necessary because it looks like there's lots of opportunity for help and support from people close to you, be they friends or other people in your environment. If you're just willing to open up a little bit, keep communication open and clear, not get too defensive, and make it clear that you could do with some of that help, it's going to make everything much easier for you. Sagittarius, while everyone else is having a bit of a struggle, you, as usual, somehow manage to come out on top. 
the lucky sign who often has things just bounce off and maybe there's a lot of that going down so all the things that Sagittarians love new things uh, studying things traveling all those things about you this is a month where that's going to be possible and happening which all sounds great and the perfect month but that doesn't mean there aren't some challenges and those challenges look like they are at work it could be as simple and straightforward as you're torn between doing stuff that you love and that you want to do and everything like that and stuff that you have to do the stuff at work why don't you try and get those two things together this is a time to kind of bring your passions into your goals of course many Sagittarians will find opportunities to travel for work at this particular time or learn new things for work and that's the ideal scenario because it's a great time to be pursuing your goals they're really going to be able to go far so if you can make some of what's going on at this time a little bit more serious a little bit more long-term and goal-oriented then you're going to see the benefits are going to be much more long-term for you at this time as well but of course I've got to say it, luck is on your side somehow you're going to land on your feet and things are going to work for you anyway just don't get too complacent Capricorn also looks like goals are happening for you and of course that's your favorite thing so everything's working quite well your goals are panning out you're able to follow them very importantly also this is a time when you can follow some of your more important ideals your bigger aspirations and goals not necessarily about long-term stuff although that counts but also things that you've just been meaning to do for ages problem is you are a little complacent at the moment with everything working well you don't always like to rock the boat well in terms of your own goals this is a great time to be rocking the boat which doesn't mean do anything reckless or wild it just means this is the time to push through and follow through on some of the bigger stuff you've been working on take a deep breath and take the leap you're someone who's not afraid of lots of hard work maybe that's going to be required but it is the kind that's very rewarding and very satisfying so look at your bigger ideals and look at the bigger circle around you there's a lot of help and support or opportunity and possibility from the people around you but it doesn't look like you're doing that much about it the chart suggests go back to something from the recent past there's something that's been sitting there waiting for you to take advantage of it perhaps it's been a person who offered help a long time ago this is the time to go back to that pick up on that go forward with that and you're going to reach those goals Aquarians you could also be pursuing some of your loftier ideals but that's nothing new for you that you are kind of doing all the time so this is a great month for doing that but you also need to take care of some of the old stuff that you're carrying around as baggage or more likely that you're refusing to get to let go of you can be quite stubborn at times and can get quite fixed about your own ideas and your own vision and sometimes that's causing you to get a bit narrowed in your possibility of what to do and this is one of those times you narrowing your path and you're narrowing your vision by clinging on to what looks like it's some greater ideal that greater ideal might be accomplishable in the future but now is not the time to do it the warning signs are there does seem to be a possibility for some heaviness it feels like depression it's probably not as serious as that but it's a kind of melancholy and a weightiness and a even sadness that you might be feeling this month and the good news is that if you're willing to just let go of some of your bigger pictures you'll discover you letting go of some of that heaviness as well deep inside perhaps you realize this is just not the time so put it aside for now and in the longer run you'll be able to pursue those goals for now focus on what's really possible Pisces you're looking a little confused or vague at the moment and that's probably because you've been letting things drift it could arise out of complacency it just could be because things are working so why not disturb, why disturb them at all or something like that but this is not serving you at the moment the chart actually warns that there's some things that you're not seeing clearly and while there won't be immediate consequences of that you're creating bigger and bigger problems in the long run and it is easy to change because you are tuned in and sensitive enough to know exactly what you should be doing right now exactly who you should be trusting and who you shouldn't because right now your sensitivity is at a peak and that's in a good way 
So about trusting yourself, trusting your intuition and your instincts, that's what's going to help you let go of what needs to let go of and move forward. Even though you do have some of the financial challenges that many people face at the moment, in the slightly longer run over the next month, it's actually looking quite positive for you as long as you trust your gut. So get out of the mood of just going with the flow and get into the mood of trusting yourself, which is not always so easy for you, also because you allow yourself to be easily swayed or influenced by others. Be firm with your own sense, even if people think you're a little crazy at this time. Prevent yourself from drifting along and actually actively follow some of those gut instincts and intuitions at the moment, and you're going to end up on top in the best possible way. Things can sure be challenging, but that's no reason to fall behind. We can all get to our goals in the end. Have a great month. I'll see you again next week.